The last day of competition began with the Luge Championship. The RAF and Royal Navy had high hopes, especially with the experienced Gav Arnold in their ranks and the Navy unearthing a real talent in Lille Garner. But a series of crashes at the bottom of the track paved the way for the Army to capitalise. Um, coming here as a novice, uh, track's quite a um, difficult track, so taking a few hits early on in the week, but got to the top and finished both runs today. So This is my fourth week sliding. So quite new in the whole grand scheme of things. So I'll be back again next year and pushing it a bit further, I think. Conditions couldn't have been better here for the luge and hopes are still high that Britons will get to next year's Winter Olympics in Pyongyang. The, the, the quality and the standard now is very, very high, obviously, in the, in the international circuit. We have two guys out of the army, Danny Scott and Ray Thompson. Uh, who are in the British team, Danny on the female side and Ray on the doubles, and they've been doing really well. Uh, it's difficult to get to qualification, but hoping next season we'll get them up there. The Army's top sliders didn't disappoint. Danny Scott nailing a sub-55 seconds on her first run, and Ray Thompson, who'd crashed out of the British Championships and sustained a dislocated shoulder, amazingly not only competed, but won. Week and British champ and a winter services champ, and we also won the team champs for the army. Obviously, the, the, the championships here in, in Lillehammer, this would be a track you probably know, but uh, for many people here, it's a brand new experience. Yeah, it's been really challenging this week for everyone, and for myself, it's not been on the World Cup circuit since 2015, so I haven't been here for two years myself. And I've had a few bumps and bruises, it's been tough, so for the novices, it's even harder. But everyone's just got on with it, slid really well, it's been good. The third and fourth legs of the skeleton followed. And winning a third successive women's title, the Army's Hayley Larkham, who also led them to team victory with the Navy second. This year has been a fantastic year on the ice um, and some real competition this year. Um, uh, there's some real, real good sliders from the Navy this year um, and also from my own team. The men's race was equally tight. The Army's Nathan Jackson sandwiched between the RAF's Rob Vickerman in third place and the winner, Neil Palmer, which also gave the RAF their 11th successive team title. It's been tight, and I think it's uh, the tightest year we've had in a long time. So to, to win by a small margin, if any, it's just amazing. Had a, a bad second round yesterday, so consistency today was, was the order. And... Um, as always, the ref put up a good show and I knew they'd be on my tail, so I had to really knuckle down and, and get the job done. In the bobsleigh, the Army deservedly won the inter-services title, but there was a sixth individual championship for Royal Marine John Jackson, with brakeman Sam Dalrymple, just pipping the RAS Ross Brown and GB International John Baines. It's, it's actually been nice to have uh, a couple of weeks back in the sled after having uh, a year out. Obviously, I retired early this year from the international scene, so it's nice to be back and s still know that I've got a little bit of skills behind the D-rings. <laughs> retirement, what retirement? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, just from the international, but, um, you know, maybe after this week's results, I might have to make a comeback. Just pip us, but I mean, you know, that's the difference between a, an Olympic uh, medal, almost a medalist at the, the last Olympics against a guy who's doing it, you know, in his... Um, a few weeks a year. The RAF women were team bobsleigh champions, but individual star was the Navy's Rachel Robertson, with brakeman Alex Kelly, individual champion just a year after starting in the sport. At first, it took me a while to get used to it, and it was very frustrating because knowing that I can drive a track well, um, not getting it right is very frustrating. But it was a slow progress from the start of last week to the end of this week and it seems to have worked well in my favour. It certainly has. Have you surprised yourself? Definitely. I can't, I can't believe it. I am absolutely over the moon. Consider it, like I said, considering I only started my career um, this time last year in the bobsleigh world, um, it's amazing. Overall, an excellent 2017 Forces Ice Championships in a stunning Norwegian location.